<coughs> have a uh, jig here uh, that I 3D printed. Uh, basically this is a very small miniature miter box of sorts to cut <coughs> very precise angles and precise sizes. What am I using this for? Well, um, I have, in addition to this, <coughs> I have some long flat bars of stainless steel. My goal is <coughs> to try to make a set of stainless steel Scrabble tiles. Uh, here is one without any lettering on it and um, is just the correct size cut down, but I'm having to cut these by hand using a hacksaw. And in order to get them at all precise, um, I had to make this miter box. And so how does this work? Well, you'll see <coughs> there's an indention here, and this groove or this uh, line here is where the hacksaw blade is going to go in and that will cut the exact size piece that I need and it will keep it straight and cut it at a nice perpendicular angle. So how do I set this up? Well I put this right here and I slide the piece of metal in as far as it can so that it is abutted up against that edge. Again that's to get the size the correct size. <coughs> And then I clamp the piece down. I do that on both sides so that it is very secure. I actually don't want to clamp too hard because this is just, this jig is just made out of PLA plastic. Um, and it, so it could be soft. I could easily crush it even though I printed it pretty solid. The other thing I had to worry about with the design, you'll see this hole down here. This was all designed to help dissipate the heat because as I cut with the hacksaw, uh, this piece of metal gets very hot. So hot that with the clamps it can, or it could, in theory, melt the jig and then uh, destroy the jig and I'd have to create another one. But once this is all set up, you see how the saw blade goes right in here. Now I just have to cut. This is going to take about uh, three minutes or so, so it's going to be kind of boring. didn't take quite as long as I thought, probably less than two minutes there, but <coughs> you'll see now, I take this out, here is the piece, it's a little hot, um, I will have to deburr this, these flanges of metal on the edge, I'll do that in a different video and polish everything up, and then you can see a, a nice polished piece once it's done, but that is what I have to do. There are a hundred tiles, Scrabble tiles, in a tile set in a game of Scrabble, so I'm going to have to do this a hundred times. This is how I'm spending a couple of my mornings hacksawing over and over. This is stainless steel, and so this is not a trivial exercise, but I thought I'd document how I'm doing one of them, and I'll go step by step, and hopefully, after several videos, I will have a set of really cool stainless steel Scrabble tiles.